In this video, I am going to be talking about why aerodynamics is why the best keeper at Cedar Point. Point is the best the reason why I hate a complete Texas and utter piece of shit. Boomerang, one of the most cloned coasters in the world, but a ride that nobody likes. Well, except Kevin. This ride is popular for its boring layout, painful experience, and its ability to be a GP magnet. In this video though, I am going to be trying to prove why Kevin is right, as I explain why Boomerang is the best coaster on earth. Before this video starts, I just want to point out that 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, so... Bruh, what are you doing? Subscribe, because I post new videos just like this one every single week. Anyways, enjoy the video. Peace. In this video, I am specifically talking about Boomerang Coast to Coaster, located at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, because that's the one that I am most familiar with, as it's at my home park. So starting with the least important category and going to the most important, first, let's talk about aesthetic. Boomerang is one of those coasters like Gatekeeper or Fury 325 that really stands out as soon as you step onto the midway. The beautiful cobra roll and vertical loop set the tone for a thrilling day to come. In addition, guests can watch the ride send people backwards and forwards, which causes these types of situations. Alrighty, so you really want to ride Boomerang, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just want to try it out. Want to try it out? Think it looks good? I think the other one was scary. The one I was just did. Oh yeah, for sure. Alrighty, well then let's let's do Boomerang. The trees and theming elements around the ride add another touch to the aesthetic, adding to that same feeling of, oh my god, I want to ride that. But the stunning color scheme of orange and blue helps it pop out of the surrounding themed area. Boomerang's cartoony entrance sign sets the theme of the ride, enticing people even more as they walk into the queue. The queue line is completely covered so that guests don't have to wait in the hot Texas sun. Plus, TVs dot the queue line making for a great entertainment source for riders waiting in the long lines. These TVs play fun Bugs Bunny cartoons that keep riders in a great mood while waiting. Finally, Boomerang's trains are... Oh, wait, no, we don't talk about those. Wait, the talkies are gone? <laughs> Overall, Boomerang is an amazing sight for people walking through the front gates, as it does an incredible job at drawing people in to ride this world-class coaster. Secondly, getting into something that was recently changed on this coaster, let's talk about the restraints. Boomerang just got new and improved trains, which feature new over-the-shoulder restraints that do an amazing job at preventing headbanging, which I guess you maybe could have gotten at some points in the ride before. The thin black bars feature padding that makes any head or neck banging that you could get feel minimal. These, along with seat padding, make a comfortable ride for riders, which is essential for a great coaster. These restraints allow you to feel an extent of freedom, especially when going up that initial spike as the restraints give a little bit, allowing you to lean more forward in your seat. This simple aspect of the restraints adds another scare to riders as they are climbing up before they drop quickly and suddenly down into the force-filled ride. That touch is a thing that has been added to newer dive coasters by B&M, showing that Boomerang was way ahead of its time in this category. Overall, these restraints are small and comfortable. They prevent headbanging and add a fun touch to the lift hill, starting off the ride immediately with a scare. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got you. This is an essential part of why Boomerang is the best coaster on earth. Next, let's talk about uniqueness. It's the only coaster in Texas that sends its riders backwards. Oh, okay, um, it's the only thrill coaster in Texas that sends its riders backwards. 
Oh, uh, it's the only non-launch thrill coaster in Texas that sends its riders backwards? Frick. Uh, it's the only non-launch thrill inverting coaster in Texas that sends its riders backwards. Hey, there we go. Seriously though, Boomerang is a relatively unique coaster. It starts by taking riders up backwards over 115 feet in the air, providing a fun first element instead of a boring lift. This lift hill replicates the hold element on a dive coaster, leaving riders pushed forward in their seats as they watch the ground get farther and farther away. In addition, it gives riders a great view of the beautiful park and a nice scare for people who may be afraid of heights, like me. Yes, you heard that right. I'm afraid of heights even though I've been on Top Throw Dragster. But if you want to see an example of me being terrified on a ride because of the height, go watch my Falcon's Fury Reverse POV. It is hilarious. Then suddenly, after slowing down a bit before the top, Boomerang drops riders, throwing them through three insanely intense inversions, reaching almost 50 miles per hour, before climbing up another spike and doing it all again, but backwards. <laughs> Going through a loop and a cobra roll backwards is really an experience that you can only get on Boomerang, making you want to ride again and again and again as well as adding to the initial anticipation to the ride. This uniqueness is a huge thing that makes this ride one of the best in the world. Finally, I am going to be talking about the thing that is at the forefront of any roller coaster, and that is the ride experience. For Boomerang, I am specifically talking about the forces that you experience during the ride. Boomerang lets riders experience a great variety of positive and negative g-forces as it traverses its course. Riders first experience the stomach-dropping sensation of negative g's when dropping down that first lift. This drop gives arguably some of the best airtime in the park, beating out many other major coasters like, uh... No... Er... Yeah, sure, that one. Plus, the airtime is very unexpected, adding to the surprise factor. From there, riders fly through the station, deafening the people waiting, before getting slammed with positive g-forces as it rockets up into that first cobra roll. The slight rattle on the ride adds to the forces, making them far more noticeable and intense. These positive forces honestly are the best in the park, easily beating out rides like Superman, Iron Rattler, Goliath, Wonder Woman, and maybe even Poltergeist. Riders then experience two brief moments of hang time through the Cobra Roll before being crushed once again with positives going into the loop. This is easily the most intense moment of the ride, pulling over 5.2 Gs of force. That's even more than I-305. This moment can commonly cause people to gray out, meaning that you partially lose vision as the blood rushes out of your head. Intensity junkies claim this moment to be the best part of the ride, as it is one of the most intense moments on any ride out there. But in my opinion, the best moment is what happens next. After feeling weightless at the top of the loop, riders fly up a spike, being pulled up more by a chain before dropping down backwards. The airtime is once again strong and unexpected, sending people flying out of their seats as they fall more than 100 feet down to the ground. You once again get slammed with positive g-forces, this time even stronger than the last because your body doesn't have time to prepare. The hang time and forces being experienced backwards is something that you really can't get on any other coaster out there, often leaving riders with the need to ride it again. No matter how many times you ride Boomerang, it will keep surprising you with intense forces, strong airtime, floaty hang time, and that fun and unique aspect of experiencing it all backwards. The intense and unique forces are the main reason why Boomerang is the best coaster in the world. Boomerang may be popularly hated by everyone except him, but showing how it outperforms other coasters in aesthetic, uniqueness, restraints, and forces shows you that Boomerang has the potential of being the best coaster in the world. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I have four other videos of this Why I Hate slash Why It's the Best series, so go click that iCard in the right hand corner of your screen to go to that playlist. As always, make sure to subscribe because I post new Texas theme park related content every single week. And other than that, until next time, peace out.